Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in my today's video, I'll talk about graph neural networks. So graph neural network are type of computer algorithms that can work with data represented as graphs. So there are many industries which are already storing their data as graphs. For example, platforms like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, they store user profiles and their connections as graph. This allow them to analyze social relationships, recommend friends and personalize content. Then the e-commerce companies like Amazon and Netflix use graph to model user item interactions and make personalized recommendations. They store data on user preferences, item attributes, and past interactions as graph. Then the companies like Google and Microsoft use knowledge graph to organize and connect structured data. And financial companies use graph to detect you know, uh, fraudulent activities by connecting transactions, users, and suspicious patterns. These are just few examples, but the use of data, use of graph data structures is growing rapidly across the various industries and due to their ability to capture and analyze complex relationships and dependencies in data. Okay, so uh, guys, now let's understand what is graph neural network and how it works. So then I want to, you know, make you understand this with the help of an example. So let's see it. Okay. So imagine you have a group of friends and each friend has a different number of other friends in the group. We can represent this group of friends as graph. Okay. Where each person is a point, we call it a node. Okay. Each person is a node. And the connection between them are represented by lines. We call them edges. Now, GNNs are like a brain that can understand and analyze this group of friends. They can look at each person and their connections to make predictions or understand how the group interacts. Okay. So now let's understand this functionality in detail. Okay. So uh, each person means each node in the group has some information about themselves like their age, hobby or interest. This information is called features. And GNN starts by looking at each person and their immediate friends. Person is a node and immediate friends means the persons, the nodes connected to them. Okay. So what will happen is GNN will start by looking at each person and their immediate friends and it collect information from those friends and combine it with the person's own information. Then GNN move to the next layer and repeat the process. It looks at the friends of friends and collect information from them as well. This way it can understand the connection between the people and how they influence each other. So the GNN continues this process for multiple layers, gathering more and more information about, you know, from the group of friends. And finally, with all the collected information, GNN can make predictions or perform different tasks. For example, it can predict the interest of a person based on their friend's interest or classify people into different categories or different groups based on their characteristics. Okay. And uh, so guys, GNNs are uh, useful in many areas. They can help us understand social networks and they can uh, recommend friends or product analyze. Um, GNN can be used in analyzing biological molecules and solve other problems where relationship between entities matter. Okay. So now let's understand directed and undirected graphs. Undirected graphs are used to show the relationship where everyone is connected equally. Undirected graphs are like big circle of friends where everyone is connected to everyone else. Okay. And it means that if there is an edge connecting node A to node B, then there is also an edge connecting node B to node A. In other words, we can say the relationship between node A and node B is bidirectional. Now, directed graphs. Now, let's talk about directed graphs. Directed graphs are used to show relationships where there is a specific flow of influence or power. Okay. 
so uh, what we can say is that that in directed graphs connection between friends have a specific direction it means that if there is an arrow pointing from friend a to friend b it doesn't necessarily mean that there is an arrow pointing from friend b to friend a also okay so it's it's uh, like saying that there is a one way relationship or uh, influence from one friend to another directed graphs show relationships where one person has some kind of power or control over the another person okay so that's it uh, this is directed and indirected graph okay now there is one more con uh, one more concept message passing this is a very important concept in this uh, gnns so let's understand me what is message passing okay so it refers to the process by which nodes in a graph exchange information with their neighboring nodes in order to update their own information okay so let's consider a scenario we'll understand it with example okay let's consider a scenario where you and your friends are planning a trip and you need to decide a destination okay and you can use a message passing to you know gather everyone's preference and make a collective decision okay so let's see here i'll show you how it works with the help of message passing how you can decide our destination for a vacation okay so each friend write down their preferred destination on a piece of paper the first friend passes their paper to the next friend each friend read the paper they receive add their own preferences and pass says it to the next friend okay then this process continues until all friends have received and added their preference to each paper to the paper okay so the last friend receives the paper read all the preferences and summarize the collective preferences okay so the paper is then passed back to the first friend who then announces the destination based on their collected you know preferences so in this example each friend represents a node in a graph the paper being passed between them are the messages the preferences written on the paper are the information being shared and updated through message passing okay so similarly in graph neural network each node okay sends messages to the neighboring nodes and those nodes update their own representations based on the received messages this process you know iterates until each node has received and processed messages from their neighbors and resulting in refined representations for each node so in the context of the trip planning example the message could contain information about each friend's preferences such as their favorite activities desired climate or budget constraints right so by passing the by passing and updating these preferences through message passing a collective decision can be made on the aggregate information all right so message passing in graph neural network is a way for nodes to exchange and update information within a graph structure allowing you know for collective computations and predictions based on the shared knowledge so this is what message passing is now let's understand gnn in more detail suppose we have a social network graph with four users alice bob carol and dave each user has certain features associated with them Let's assume the features are represented by vectors. In the first step, GNN convert these feature vector into nodes, right? Each node represents a user and their associated features. So we have four nodes with their respective features like this. Now, let's perform message passing. Node 1, Alice sends its feature to its neighboring nodes bob and carol suppose bob and carol are the neighboring uh, nodes to alice so node 1 alice sends its features to the neighboring nodes bob and carol okay then node 2 bob sends its feature to its neighboring nodes which are alice and dave and in the same way node 3 carol sends its features 
to its neighboring node ls okay so now node 4 sends this feature vector to the neighboring nodes bob okay now this is how they send the features to each other now next thing is aggregation now what will happen is once they send the features then uh, aggregation will uh, be performed under aggregation what will happen node 1 ls receives the feature vector from bob and carol okay now the aggregated feature vector will look like this after the aggregation uh, performed on it and node b node 2 sorry node 2 bob receive the feature vector from alice and from dave okay so the aggregated feature uh, vector will look like this and for node 3 the aggregated feature vector will look like this and same way for node 4 dave uh, aggregated feature vector would be like this okay so now after this aggregation step we have the updated feature vectors like this okay now this after aggregation what happen is all nodes updates its own feature vector based on the aggregated information and its current feature okay and after the aggregation step we have the final layer of graph neural network which can perform some sort of prediction or classification so guys one more thing the process which i've just told you is for one hidden layer means we have an input layer and then one hidden layer and then we have the final output layer okay so i have shown you the process for one hidden layer but there can be you know uh, many uh, hidden layers between input and output layer and every hidden layer will perform this message passing aggregation and node update steps for each node okay so the final layer takes the output of the last hidden layer and perform task specific operations such as node classification link prediction or graph level analysis okay so the output layer can be fully connected neural network or um, softmax layer it can be uh, you know um, any other type of classifier based on the specific task means this output layer will depend upon the kind of task which you want to perform on the uh, on the uh, you know the graph okay so that that this is how this graph neural network work in my upcoming videos i'll show you the types of different types of uh, uh, graph neural networks and we'll see the practical implementation also okay so guys i hope this video is helpful and if you have any queries you can comment in comment section and if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching